Okay. Uh, <clears throat> today uh, we are gonna to see uh, the spatial analysis and uh, modeling. Uh, here it is, spatial analysis and modeling. This is very very important and uh, uh, more uh, practical. Uh, lab in GIS. It is the head of GIS, uh, spatial analysis and uh, spatial modeling. Today we are going to see the spatial analysis as well as spatial modeling. These are the contents that we are going to cover. The first one is preparing for analysis. You have to prepare your data for analysis, right? You have to have the right folder and you have to organize your data uh, in the right uh, database or draw database and you have to locate your tutorial data in the right directory uh, and uh, and then start up ArcMap setting your workspace this is very important thing uh, the current and the scratch workspace this one is the input data and this one is the output data once you have uh, once uh, you set the workspace uh, you can uh, save your data in the output folder database and uh, can access the input from the uh, current uh, database and then finally we say we add, add data to our map and you have to save your arc map document and lab 2 will see accessing a special analyst and the data exploration that means we have to, we have to access a special analyst uh, special analyst uh, toolbar and special analyst uh, extension okay before any special analysis we have to we have to understand that uh, we have to uh, access or make active special analyst toolbar and special analyst extension and we have to check whether our data is projected or not right it should be projected because we are going to analyze data in linear measurement okay so it should be projected okay now let's so go to our folder and let's manage our data my data is uh, in here yes okay here is special analysis and uh, lab here is special modeling here it is okay let us copy it we have to copy this this one and immediately here in the e drive or to avoid any complexity and to make our pass saving pass from mark map is very easy and straightforward we have to put our data here immediately in the drive right here i have this lab 6 special analyst or we can change then the name special modeling special modeling okay here is special modeling we have our data here okay and uh, now you organize our data you can see here it is in the database and we put it immediately in a drive and immediately uh, in a drive not in a drive and in a, another folder immediately in a drive in a folder all right you can get simply when you click a folder that is this one special modeling folder inside it we put it okay so don't put your data in your drive and another folder and in another folder right that will make somewhat the, your analysis and pass complex and uh, ArcMap may uh, <clears throat> struggle to get the right pass and then uh, you will have a challenge uh, in the midst of analysis so you know to, to avoid all those issues you have to save your data on the right uh, directory and there should be a right pass 
Okay, now let us open uh, our, the next step is uh, opening our, our come up. Okay, so let us open our come up. Here it is. Okay, don't close this one. Uh, we have to open here new our uh, new map. Click on new map. Here we have the new map, and then go to here the browse. Here it is, right? The browse uh, icon, and uh, go to there. And here you have to connect it to your folder. Still are not connected. This is another folder. We have to connect to our folder. So to be connected. Click here, this one, and go to the this this PC, and go to a drive. Right, we there we spatial modeling. Say this one, spatial modeling, and now here it is. Right, and create another folder. Your output folder here. And name it scratch. Scratch. Okay. And add it. Add this scratch folder here in your A drive. Special modeling scratch in A drive. And now, okay. Okay. This is now our arc map uh, to uh, practice our special modeling, right? And now let's set workspace. Next to that, we have to set our workspace. Go to job processing and go to environment. Here we have to set workspace. Especially, this is very important in. Uh, special data analysis you have to set your workspace right or come up understand what you are gonna to do and come up without any issue can process your analysis so expand this workspace okay the current workspace should be the this one style okay add it uh, already uh, the scratch already there it is added right and uh, close close it okay now let's set our data go to here see open this one and uh, okay add your data yes here is the data here is our data. We have raster data as well as vector data, and point line vector data, and elevation and land use raster data. These are our data sets that we are going to perform our spatial analysis. All right. Uh, so now we have to save our work map document. This save it. Okay. Go to your folder. Uh, go to this A special modeling here and right here. You can say CTL site analysis or optimum site analysis. You can say optimum. optimum. Site uh, or suitable site modeling, you can say suitable site modeling or optimum site analysis. Okay, optimal, you can say optimal site analysis or you can say site analysis, right? Should be the right name. Optimum site analysis, save it automatically. This untitled or come up title. Bar change it into optimum site analysis already. No, we have saved our data there. Excellent. This is the first lab. We have finished the first one. 
and uh, lab two. We have the next lab is the, the we have to access spatial analysis toolbar into set right go to customize toolbar check whether spatial analyst toolbar is checked or not this one okay it should be checked customize toolbar spatial analyst this one check it here it is this is the spatial analyst toolbar and then uh, again go to here extension spatial analyst extension should be active you see here we do have the bunches of uh, extensions of this now we need only spatial analyst check it already it is checked that is okay okay all right now let us create analyze you can see the, your data and the check uh, the projection or the property of your data go to source all right you see here with a cell size 30 by 30 it is almost moderate resolution and here you have the column and row and uh, go to here spatial reference and xy coordinate system it is already projected you see linear unit matter it is projected one okay projector two not 1983 transfer square cutter projection system okay so it is projected and let us create hill shape go to this uh, search bar and write hill shape shape from spatial analyst open it and here our input is elevation how to put already hill shape and the motive this one altitude here this one z factor you can write 0 0.48 you can write this one and okay Next time, wait. Yeah, <laughs> it is done. This is the hill shot, right? This station, hill shot. And let us do some exploration, display, and on. Okay. Uh, first off, you have to put land use above hill shed this one and open land use and now place uh, go to symbology and you have to give the right color for each land use land cover because there is a conventional color that should be given to each land use land cover right so agriculture should be orange or yellow it should be yellow or orange like that okay you can give this for agriculture and bar land that should be uh, yeah bar land should be like this make it like this and uh, brush or transitional uh, it should be okay like this built up right and forest gray okay should be green dark green should be dark green forest right water yellow blue and with with land here the uh, purple this is almost the right uh, glasses and color and go to display and make this on 30 percent in order to explore what happened with the hill shed you see this is the right display on 30 we have the hill shed and over it we have land use land cover therefore 
This is the uh, integration of uh, different data uh, in order to observe and explore the correlation or relations of the landform and uh, uh, features on it. Therefore, here we do have this hill area or steep slope area, and here we do have the flat or somewhat you know, gentle slope area, and then here we do have the hilly area or mountainous area, right? Uh, and the next one is let us identify features. Use this identify tool to identify feature. Click on somewhere. But here in the identify from bar, select from all. Okay. And then close it and then identify. For example, from this area, we identify land use, forest, hill shade, this value, and elevation, this value. 2,444 meter above mean right? So at the same time, by a click, uh, identify identification, we can access number of information on, on a single place, right? Or for a single cell. This is the information on a single cell, right? On a single cell, we do have this forest, and that forest is uh, found on the uh, 2,444 altitude above mean sea level. Okay, and the hill shade looks like this one. Okay, this is how to explore our data using the identifying tool. And now let us examine the hill <coughs> uh, that is the histogram and. Uh, uh, and line graph in the you know pie chart and on histogram you can access from here for elevation for example this is the histogram for elevation okay histogram for elevation you can you can edit it you can right click it go to here and you can here Edit x axis, y axis, and on right. For example, if you don't need this one, this is distribute based on display resolution. Okay, you go to this property. Here you can avoid this footer resolution and apply it. You see, it looks like this one. If you change the color here, it will be changed again, right? This elevation, if you change the color here, if you change the color and again generate, you see here, change it. So this red one tells us the low, low laying area. Therefore, in this study area, we do have large numbers of low laying area and small numbers of high laying area, right? High. This one, right? Here we do have the number, which tells us about the number of pixels. Okay, let us go to make this the title land use and generate histogram. This is this is the histogram of land use land cover. You see here, the largest is the forest, the next largest is agricultural land, and the next is the water body, and the next is built up, and the last is wetland in this study area. Here you do have this one, you can export this, okay? Or you can generate from here. Right click on land use, for example, and go to this uh, tribute table, and go to here, okay and then go to this graph and then for example bar already we have seen the bar and let us create pie chart this pie chart here we would have the window a value field okay this is the value field mm. pie chart okay the level field here would be land use okay the value field should be count by count, right? By count means by number of pixels, that means by area. We didn't calculate area by hectare. But here we do have by count, it is by count. 
This is the his the pie chart by count. Okay, pie chart by count. You can edit it and uh, you can export it. Okay. Mm. So, or you can also have the the line. Okay, vertical line line. Let us see by line. X field. So the Y field should be the land use here. You see? Uh, so we can have this line graph if you need this. So you can explore in such a way. Okay. Uh, next we will see the modeling part. Okay. Uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching.